Today, I want to talk about a technique that's great for when your client wants to work on a traumatic memory that involves a threat or the perception of a threat to his or her personal safety, such as a sexual or physical assault, a car accident, a sports injury, a surgical procedure, etc. In other words, we aren't discussing the usual upsetting or distressing events for which we use basic EFT. Instead, we are addressing traumatic memories that, one could argue, are recorded differently by the nervous system. For this technique to work best, your client should have a specific memory in mind. Ideally, one that lasts just a few minutes and has no more than four or five peaks of emotional intensity. If the traumatic incident lasted an hour or more, you can have them start with a shorter segment within that memory. Start by asking your client to come up with a title for that memory. It doesn't need to make sense to you as the practitioner, but it should to them. Like that day at the park, last night after dinner, or what happened with Jean. Next, ask them to guess the emotional intensity they might feel when thinking about that title. For example, when they picture that title on a movie theater's billboard, how intense might the emotion be? Guessing helps them approach the emotion Emotion gently. If they guess that it's more than a 2 out of 10, you can tap on the side of the hand using this setup statement. Even though there's this movie title that day at the park, right here, right now, I'm okay. You can continue using the reminder phrase, this movie title, that day in the park, as you tap on the other points. Notice that we aren't naming any emotion. We do this as a way to bring in some gentle distancing. In this case, by only referencing the memory from afar. Once they guess that the emotion tied to the title is at a two or lower, ask them to start narrating the memory out loud, starting from a relatively neutral place before anything bad happens. As in, I was just riding my bike through the park when suddenly, and to keep their eyes open. This helps them stay grounded and lessens the risk of becoming emotionally overwhelmed. They should tell you when they reach the first peak of emotional intensity. Sometimes, due to a phenomenon known as the trauma pull, clients may rush their narration. This urge stems from their mind's attempt to quickly conclude the traumatic recounting, leading them directly to the most distressing parts of the event. This can inadvertently bring up a lot of emotional overwhelm for them. Therefore, they might reach one of those peaks of emotional intensity without pausing to inform you. In that case, it's useful to let them know in advance that if you notice this is happening, you'll be interrupting them. Not to be rude, but to help keep them safe from emotional overwhelm and nervous system dysregulation. And also to best help them gently process every emotionally charged aspect within that memory. When they reach that first peak of emotional intensity, ask them to guess the emotional intensity they might feel about that part of the memory. Start tapping on the side of the hand, just mentioning that part of the story. For example, even though suddenly I heard a loud noise, right here, right now, I'm okay. For the next points, they can use the reminder phrase, suddenly I heard a loud noise. After they guess that the emotional intensity for that part is at two or lower, ask them to go back and start narrating the memory again and to tell you when they get to the next peak of emotional intensity. And when you do, do the same tapping as before. For example, even though I turned around and saw this other biker rushing towards me, right here, right now, I'm okay. And for the next points, they can say, I turned around and I saw this other biker rushing towards. Every time you help them diminish the emotional intensity of those peaks to a two or lower, you ask them to start telling the story again from the start. Sometimes as they do this, they become aware of other emotionally charged details they haven't found before. If this happens, you can tap on them the same way you tapped on the other peaks. Once you've worked through all the emotional parts of the memory, have them tell the story one more time. If they feel okay, they can then watch it with their eyes closed to see if there are any parts that still bring up any emotional intensity. If there are, it's a good thing that you help your client uncover them and you can tap on them as before. If not, that means the memory was successfully processed. So in summary, the tell the story technique allows someone to work through a short memory in steps in a slow but gradual way so that by the time they reach the worst part, it's probably going to have a lower intensity than it would have originally, thanks to having tapped on the previous peaks that weren't quite as intense. So that's it for today. I hope that it was useful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you again in one of my next videos.